Lego Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars, Defender, uh, Defenders of Peace level, and this is the first one where you get to actually build stuff in the whole strategery type of level. And yes, I know it's pronounced strategy, stop telling me, but uh, right here you need to free this clone and then uh, use his and that other things. I don't know what that is. You need to use uh, both of their grapples to kind of put the speeder and then turn these electricity things so I guess electricity flows through the ship instead of out and everywhere else and then uh, once that blows up you need to move this base this uh, generator into the middle which allows you to build a base and pretty soon you will see a whole um, mini map coming up and anyway, I, uh, I'm not gonna be talking too much through this level because it's a lot of uh, same thing that I did a while ago but Right here is where you can build your own cannon by pushing B for me, and I am recording this on the PC just so you guys know, not on the Xbox, but I'm using an Xbox controller, so. Anyway, build the cannon, you need around 5,000 studs, you should have way more than that. And, uh, destroy this, uh, block, this silver wall, and then uh, once you get out of this cannon, you're gonna want to destroy it so you can get some of your studs back. It's better than having none of them back, and they will help later on. It's also very uh, good. Bleh, it's good to try not to die as much as you possibly can throughout this because the um, uh, more studs you lose, the harder it is to build stuff. And the more stuff you build, the more options that be uh, become available to you. So take over as many bases as you can and build like uh, a couple of cannons just to get you started, and then start building barracks and their support once you get to that point. So, uh, for this base, just destroy those barracks, and throughout this whole thing, uh, the best thing f I would say to do is to, um, get rid of the barracks first, and then go for the enemy cannons, and then go for everything else, because the barracks are just annoying to deal with, the cannons kill you in, like, one or two hits, and it's just easier when you don't have any enemies. Also, uh... Uh, the, uh, the cool part about being able to build your own cannons is that if all the cannons are just all of their cannons are destroyed and you need to kill an enemy silver building you can just build your own cannon and there you go and also for um, deflecting bullets if you just tap X while bullets are being shot at you like a whole almost all of them will be deflected back if they hit you and it will kill the droid that shot them so uh, you don't need to special you don't need to time specially or anything 
So just keep doing that. This is a pretty dang long level. It's like, what, 13, 12 minutes? I can't tell because my timeline's all uh, flip flopped and uh, skiddly daddled and <laughs> I don't even know. But uh, it's pretty long level. There's a way longer one after this. But yeah, way longer one after this, and it's this type level, this big strategy thing, and it's got three parts, and oh man, it's annoying, but it's, it's, it is pretty fun, but uh, later, if you don't like this kind of level, you don't have to do this in the uh, other branches when you go after Grievous and that white-skinned lady, but, <laughs> so just uh, keep doing that, and you need to take out all the generators so you can kill that ship. And a couple of these, uh, uh, so a couple of these uh, vehicles that you can hijack, they do kill a little bit quicker than your lightsaber would. But if you don't, if you can't get any of that, and you have a friend that you can play with, uh, both of you can uh, kill the thing pretty quickly together. So just keep doing that. As I said before, go for the barracks and then the cannons and then everything else. Try and get as many bases as you can and pretty much just destroy everything in the circle that is not yours and you'll be, you'll pretty much be able to get through the level pretty easily.